Hey guys, welcome to the primary section of this workshop. I'm gonna quickly break down how primaries work in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, they're pretty much gonna be broken down into three categories. You're gonna have the primary color wheels, you're gonna have the primary log wheels, and you're gonna have the HDR wheels. Before we jump into that, I want you guys to go ahead and make sure your uh, scopes are turned on. So just select the chart here, uh, find waveform, and then just make sure this is dialed all the way up. All right, so let's quickly break down what lift, gamma, gain, and offset mean. Lifts are gonna be the shadows, gamma is gonna be the midtones, gain is gonna be the highlights, and offset's gonna adjust the whole image. Now, the cool thing about the co primary color wheels here are they all overlap at some point. So when you do adjust lift, they will have an impact on your uh, midtones and highlights as well. So they do overlap. Now you can go ahead and add in different colors to let's say the shadows, midtones, gains and the way you want to adjust exposure is here at the bottom um, but let me go ahead and reset this and show you what the difference is between the primary color wheels and the log color wheels so the main difference between the normal color wheels and log color wheels is that log wheels have zero overlap so the shadows will only affect the lower ends of the image uh, the midtones will only affect the middle and highlights will only affect the top this is good to make particular changes and kind of like focus in on one area of the image. So let me go ahead and show you on a gradient level how this affects the image. So let's go to the normal color wheels. And if we raise the lifts, you could see that the shadows and the midtones get raised a little bit. And so do the highlights. However, when we go into the log wheels here, when I lift the uh, shadows, it only affects the shadows. So this is a very, very precise tool that you use after you set your primaries. Now, I normally don't use log color wheels that, that often. I actually use uh, the HDR wheels. And a common misconception people have is they think HDR means you have to use it with HDR images, which is far from the truth. As you can see, there's six color wheels here, and it's pretty much like the log color wheels plus the primary color wheels. So as you can see, if I raise the uh, lights here, it'll raise the midtones and the highlights. However, if I only just highlights, it does a log uh, functionality of only affecting the highlights. So I normally like to start off my workflow by adjusting the primary log wheels, setting the white balance, and then fine tuning my image a little bit more with the HDR wheels. So first thing I notice is that the image is vastly overexposed. So I'm just gonna pull the entire image down until it looks good on her face. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling up the mid-tones, uh, messing with the lifts a little bit. And then when I have something I look generally happy with here, then I am going to start adjusting the white balance. And a, there's a couple ways you could do that. One, you could select the dropper tool, select a point in the image that's supposed to be true white, and then the software will, will do its magic. I generally don't like how the software does it, so I tend to just do it by eye, so I'll pull the magenta to the left because it sees some magenta in the skin and then start teetering the temperature back and forth until I find a good balance. Once I have the uh, white balance exposed for the skin, then I'll go into the HDR tab and then start pulling down, let's say, some of the highlights, the lights to kind of remove the hot spots on the skin, come into the shadows here and kind of pull them up. Bring the darks down, and there you guys have it. This is a properly exposed image to me. And once I'm done with this, then I start applying all my creative stylistic um, nodes to this footage.